Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We're using the great free Divi Brain add-on here with the Divi theme and we're going to create this little logo carousel today and this is really cool. I literally a couple of days ago just built one of these with a premium plugin and this one has pretty much all the same features. Okay the premium plugin had a lot more modules and things like that but for a free plugin, I'm really impressed with Divi Brain. And if you want to check it out, if you've got Divi, you can download it from brainaddons.com. I'll put this link below the video. Just hit the download free button, download and install it. They've actually got a premium version. The free one, you get 20 free modules. And the premium, you get a few more here. Um, but I believe this is in the beta stage at the moment. Okay, let's get started. I'll show you how to build this. Let's just go down, I'll enable the Visual Builder and we'll delete what we've got here. Okay, I'm just going to delete this whole row. So let's create another row, a little green button to create a row. I'm going to put in one column. Divi comes as standard with the light gray modules and there's plenty to build just about any site. If you're in got WooCommerce installed you also get another dozen more for displaying your products. Here are all the ones, the bluey ones here that you get with the free Divi Brain add-on and the one I want today is the logo carousel and there it is right there. Right away it's going to prompt us to put in a, a new item so let's go in, let's upload a logo. Here we go. And I'll just quickly throw some in and then we'll go through the settings. Just click the check mark when you've got your first one in there, add a new one, rinse and repeat. Okay, one more. There we go. Now, as you can see, it's starting to rotate already. We've got some navigation arrows left and right there if you want to. When we hover over, it's sort of, sort of growing a bit there. Let's just save this. Now, I'm in my Coca-Cola one here. You can give it a, a name if you want. To help identify it. If you want to link it to the brand page or whatever, hit the use link button. Put the URL in there. Best practice, if you're linking to your own site, leave it as it is. If you're linking off your site, hit the open in new window. That way your site stays open. Okay, move on to the design. You can give it an overlay if you want to. I really don't want to give it an overlay. You can give it a border if you want to. And you can also add icons to your overlay, but we're not using an overlay today, so that's fine. Don't want any borders. Spacing wise, you can give it margins, top and bottom. But I'm pretty happy with everything that's going on there. I really am. If you wanted to, you can use filters on it and change the saturation, hue, brightness, contrast, and what have you. But again, I'm happy. I think I might make these grayscale and then color them up when you hover over them. That's pretty much how you see it on a lot of sites. It's a popular thing to have. So let's just save this and then go into the carousel settings itself. So there's all our little logos there. There's that one that I gave the name so we can identify it. Obviously you probably want to do that with all of those. Let's slide down a bit and have a look at the logo settings. Height wise, well there's nothing in there at the moment but if you want to set a height and a width for it you can there. I'm happy to have mine as the default there. Now when we hover it's got a sort of zoom in effect but it does spill out of the little box a bit so I'm going to use zoom out. Another great feature, they've got a black and white feature as well. Whereas you hover on it, it turns into black and white. 
Well, I'm going to do mine the other way around in a moment, and I'm going to keep the zoom out effect. That way, it sort of gets a little smaller, so you don't lose any of your logo there. If we move on down to the carousel settings themselves, you've got your animation feet speed. The 700 milliseconds right there is the time this one takes to get to here which is just under three quarters of a second there, 700 mils, take it up or down, type in a value, slide the slider, and you can fine tune with the little arrows there if you want to. I want my autoplay going. Autoplay speed is 2000 milliseconds or two seconds, and that's the amount of time it pauses on each one there. It's kind of quick. I'm going to slow mine down a bit, say 3000. Just put in the number, it'll put in the milliseconds for you. There we go, it's a little bit more relaxed. Now we've got some nav left and right there. I really don't want those. If you want those, leave them by all means. But I'm going to turn those off and just have it as a rolling carousel. Use car pagination if you want, which are the little dots that appear underneath here. But again, I don't think I really want that. If you want to use a fixed width slide, turn this to on and give it a width. I'm pretty happy with the main the way mine are try ramping it up a little bit and see what happens yeah you can make it pretty big by doing it that way around and if you play with these settings and you don't like what you've done simply select it delete it it'll go back to the default value for you if you want to add a bit more spacing between the slides here's where you do it right here again slide up or type a value in or whatever you want to do Let's give it that there. Apply spacing on the first and last item. That's going to give it a little bit of space left and right. And I'm going to leave it like that because I'm going to make this full width so we can see everything. Infinite looping, yep, yeah, goes round and round and round. If you turn this off when it gets to the last one, it's going to stop. If you want to link the whole module to somewhere, this is where you do it. And again, if you're going off site, open it in a new tab. That's best practice. Background, don't particularly want to give it a background because some of mine, some, most of these are, are transparent PNGs, so they don't have a background. But I think Fanta or one of them has a white background, which will work because it's the same as my page there. So if I was to put it in a background, you'd see the background of that logo or whatever it is. Let's just chuck in something for fun. See, those are all fine. There's one there that's a JPEG. There it is, the Fanta. But it's up to you. But I really don't want a background, so I'll go back up. I'll hit the trash and leave it as it is. Great. Admin label, I don't really need to do that. Let's go on to our design tab. Navigation, we're not using navigation, the little arrows, or the pagination, the little dots. Sizing wise, you can give it a fixed width and a max width if you want to. I'm happy with everything that I've got here as the default. We'll align it in the middle. It's pretty much centralized anyway. You can give it a max height and a height, but don't need to do any of that. I'm happy with the way it's rotating right there. Now, spacing wise, we've kind of fixed that. You can give it more space top and bottom if you want to. But again, I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on there. I'm not going to use box shadows. I will use a filter. I'm going to turn these black and white and just have them color when we hover over. So I'm going to hit the filters there. You can do this individually if you want to. But because I've used the zoom effect, I can't apply the black and white effect as well in the individual settings. So I'm in my filters, in design, in the main brain logo carousel settings. I'm going to go to saturation, hit the little arrow common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark legending there, some icons will pop up. If there's a little arrow, it'll let you put in a desktop state when your mouse is not on it and a hover state when your mouse is on it. Desktop, I'm going to have these black and white. Saturation all the way down. When we hover over, I'm going to bring a bit of that color back. Bring it back up to 100%. Let's fine tune the little arrows there to get it where you want to go. There we go. So 
So I'm fairly happy with that. Put it back on the desktop state or non-hover state and you'll see it go black and white. There we go. Now I don't want any transform. I, animation I'm not going to put on. That's when the page loads animation. Let's just go back to our content here. And we'll look at the carousel settings once again. Look at the advanced. You can change the actual CSS transition if you want. And that's the sort of way it fades in, fades out. And there's a few to choose from here. Linear, ease in, ease out. I'm happy to leave that one on the default. Swipe. I'm going to leave that to on. That's great for tablets and mobile phone. And you can decide how many you want to scroll each time there. You can put vertical mo mode on if you're building a vertical logo carousel. That's a nice feature right there. And you can put center mode on if you always want one in the middle. I've got an odd number, which is five, so I've already got one in there already. Don't need to wait for animation. Don't want to put a custom cursor on there. So we're pretty good to go there. And if we look in our logo settings, I'm happy with that little zoom out that we've got going on there okay the only other thing i really want to do is make it full width so we'll go out of there and let's go into our row and make it full width and to do that i've gone into the row the green tab i'm going to go to design sizing i'm going to pull the width up to 100 percent i'm going to copy that I'm going to paste it in down below or you can type it in if you prefer and as you can see that's now stretching the full width of our screen here now I think I might give it Let's go back into our little thing and add a little bit more spacing so it fits perfectly. So we're going to save that. We'll go back into the module itself, dark tab. Okay, to make this fit perfectly, let's go back into our slide here in the content, in the actual carousel settings. We slide down a little bit. If I turn the fixed width slide off, it's going to put in three by default you can change this to whatever number works for your screen size that works fine for me but unfortunately I've <laughs> I've only got five in there so it's not going to automate because I haven't got enough for it to roll around if I change it to four it will roll around but they'll be a bit bigger there we go that's fine it should automate now now you can decide here also how it's going to display on mobile and tablet and to do that roll over hit the little mobile phone icon right here and you can set four on desktop perhaps three on a tablet and let's go for one on a mobile perhaps There we go, and you'll have one, and it'll revolve around five times before it gets back to this one. Perfect. So let's save this, save our changes, and see if it's going to work for us. Let's exit the Visual Builder. And go on down. And there's our little logo carousel. Now I've noticed a couple of these are sort of out of alignment, you can go in, you can add padding to the individual items to just crank these down so that they're all at the same height if you want to. So there you go guys, there is a little logo carousel using the fantastic free Divi Brain modules. Like I say, this link will be below the video. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up comment, ring the bell, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.